Now, many of you will know that uh, the main competitor for Envo L60, it is the Tesla Model Y, right? I mean, you will know that price-wise, Envo is cheaper than Tesla Model Y. And when it comes to some of the features technology, Envo, it is ahead. I mean, when it comes to things like uh, efficiency, when it comes to amount of power that it uses, every 100 kilometers, Envo uses less power than that which is used by tesla we have discussed this on this video and the reason why i'm telling you all this is because we just read a post of a tesla model y user who bought tesla two three years ago and right now he has reserved or made a deposit of the onvo l60 on the 8th of october he said after test driving the onvo l60 there were some pretty good things that he could say he liked over the Tesla Model Y like the assisted driver that Lidao has as he compares to his Tesla Model Y it's much better and he also mentioned the deceleration which to for Tesla it's uh, or for Envo L6 is better than that of Tesla but over and above all this uh, another reason or may one of the main reasons why is changing from Tesla Model Y to Envo L60 simply because of the price he said with the Chinese subsidies which are currently taking place, he can buy the Envo L60. Or in fact, he bought the Envo L60 by 130,000 RMB. You will know that the price of the Envo L60 without a battery is 149,000 RMB. And to, of, to get to see him able to get it at 130 RMB, it, it simply means that this is good news. This is a very good deal because... You are getting a much better version of the Model Y of the Tesla Model Y at 130,000 RMB, which comparing that to a Tesla Model Y, which is almost at 250, 260,000 RMB, it is a quite a bargain because this 130,000 RMB simply means that you'll be able to go to a battery shopping station and do a battery swap, right? I mean, the full price of the car with a battery starts at. 206,000 RMB and with the subsidies that are currently running I can tell you now that you will buy this car just over 180,000 RMB which shows you of how cheap how massive this car is even with a battery which is something that should definitely make you to see that the more we see this apparently he is not the first driver to switch from Tesla Model Y into Envo L16 2025 looks much brighter because of such stories like this. I mean, the elder brother Neo, we usually see Neo users or some of the Neo users who just recently joined Neo coming from your Mercedes, coming from Audi, and seeing that also Envo L60, it is scooping some of them. Users already from Tesla Model Y, I think this is great news. This are massive bullish news. When I read this story today, I was very excited to say that at least finally we are starting to see things play out very well as expected and knowing very well that the Envo L60 it is a direct competitor for Tesla Model Y and it is already showing some good signs or good progress where we are seeing some some of the people that used to own Tesla Model Y drive Tesla Model Y coming and giving uh, good reviews on the Envo L60 and switching to it because Number one, it is cheaper than or way cheaper than the Tesla Model Y. And number two, because of the features that comes in with the car. This is something that is so incredible, amazing to see Envo being able to pull uh, this. So this is massive. This is bullish. Like I said, seeing it happening onto Envo, it is something that is pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. Now, this guy said he placed an order on the 8th of October. After placing an order, he is expecting his car this year. Now, hold on. This guy is confirming something very bullish, extremely bullish about the Neo, uh, about the Envo deliveries. Because if he is saying he placed an order of the Envo L60 on Tuesday and he is expecting to receive his car this year, it means that all the orders that Envo has collected thus far, which I personally think they should be, way over 50,000. It simply means that Envo can deliver over 50,000 vehicles this year, which is massive, which is bullish because this guy, he said he placed an order on the 8th, which is on Tuesday, and he is expecting to get his delivery this year. Man, blue sky is coming. Those that are still hesitating, thinking if whether Envo will sell 
50,000 or this year, they better think again because someone who just placed an order this week on Tuesday just confirmed that he will be getting the car or he's expecting to get his delivery before the end of this year, which is massive, bullish, and it tells us one thing, and that is blue sky is coming. Onvo, this might confirm that Onugovo might sell over 50,000 cars this year which is massive which is bullish and now it actually makes me wonder the kind of deliveries we are going to see coming from Onvo just this month of uh, October I think yeah the 5,000 might be an understatement we might actually get to see more than that because in fact Onvo and Neo have told us that they've tried to they are trying to resolve the bottlenecks of production production capacity of Onvo sooner than expected and this will make them to be able to sell on for much quicker than of course i anticipated the original plan was to sell 20,000 of on this year but based on what new and on have told us we know that that has changed and this user who just placed the order on the 8th on tuesday also confirmed that he will get him confirming that he is expecting his delivery this year just simply means that we can expect great deliveries coming from Onvo. I don't know. Q4, Q4. It therefore means that we should not really take out profitability that much because you will know that what the CEO of NEO said is that once Onvo gets to 20,000, it will help NEO get to profitability. Of which, if let's say for argument's sake, we, yes, we, I, do, I know we don't want to get 20,000 deliveries of Onvo this month, but let's say November we get that 20,000. December, we get that 20,000. It will mean that obviously Onvo will deliver plus uh, maybe 50,000 deliveries, which that compound to the NEO maybe 65, 70,000 vehicles. It will simply mean that NEO, chances are very high that it might, profitability might come very close. In fact, Q4, we might break even. There is a possibility if Onvo can sell over 50,000 and Neo sells maybe 60, 70, 65 to 70,000 this quarter. There is a possibility or a strong possibility that we get to see, of course, profitability coming in Q4. But I don't want to go too ahead of myself or too ahead of what we can expect. Let's see how things unfold. But I'm telling you, we must not take that away because if things unfold as what we are seeing or what some of the users are confirming then it slides out for this stock then the stock price of neo once we hit profitability maybe in q4 then it slides out right and i know even if we don't get it in q4 i tell you sometime in 2025 profitability guaranteed is coming and this is just good or this will be so good for the new investors those that have been on this stock for the long term so i'm happy i'm excited by some of the informations which just got revealed by this user it is the very first time i see this but apparently based on the suite of social media it is not the first time we're seeing a switch from tesla model y into onvo l60 which is great news amazing news and it shows us that blue sky is indeed coming otherwise with all that just thought i'd just give you this quick update tell me what you think about this story i think this is bullish massive and it tells us that we need to brace ourselves for what's coming blue sky is coming do your own due diligence and god bless you all